how many of you have been threatened by someone who's upset thinking they know you? All of you. They're young, they're good looking, and they're on social media. Kayla, Cammie, Tristan, and Justin say scammers have stolen their images to create fake online profiles and then use those profiles to lure people into online relationships, grooming them into sending money. I had a family contact me and they wanted me to inform their grandfather like that it wasn't me that he was talking to. Is this something you have to deal with every day? Yeah, 100 percent. All say their photos now live on hundreds, even thousands of fake social media profiles, many times using their real names. I've actually been contacted by like the FBI, NCIS, basically confirming that I'm not behind all of this. These women, they spend thousands of dollars thinking I'm going to come see them. Justin says he saw a post online, a woman celebrating her engagement to him. He messaged her and warned her husband to be wasn't real. Then the scammer saw Justin's comment. The scammer calls me and he's like, you're messing with my business. And I'm like, it's my face. This is not your business. Justin recorded the call. Oh, everybody but this poor girl, right? What did you say? Well, no. Tristan, a fitness coach, says some women who thought they were having an online relationship with him even hired him for in-person training. They just want to confirm that it's actually me, and then they'll just waste my time. Cybercrime continues to rise in America. Last year, reports of romance scams alone amounted to a reported loss of $1.3 billion. Among the top lies used to ask for money, someone close is sick, hurt, or in jail, and I am in the military. Three of these four have served or are serving. I think that military personnel are targeted because you can use the excuse because of security concerns. I can't send you a picture right now. I'm not allowed to video chat. California-based Social Catfish is a people search engine that focuses on online safety. Their search results help customers find and remove fake profiles. The Internet's still the wild, wild west. There are very few laws to protect you online for the use of your images. CEO David McClellan says these stolen images can lead to very real danger. I had people actually showing up and, you know, getting getting upset with me in person. And it's even happened to me. Vicky, we decided to run your image and here's what we found. We found a Vicky Wynn channel selling for $799. We also found a clubhouse link of somebody actually using your image to most likely talk to other people online. And we found a celebrity foot website that has all your feet pics. My feet? That is gross and weird. McClellan says you can take steps to protect your images. Set your social media profiles to private. Limit what you post, add watermarks to your photos, and run reverse image searches. It's free with Google Images. If you can't meet the person within like a week, it's not real. Great advice. And by the way, I would like to thank Social Catfish because they did help me take down those photos mm -hmm. that they found of me. This is a really good time to remind everyone, just never send money to someone you haven't met, no matter how many photos or texts they send you. And we were talking about this with deep fakes, AI coming out. Mm -hmm. This is only going to become an even bigger problem when you're able to video chat with someone who isn't real at all. So mm -hmm. the best rule of thumb, never, ever send money to someone you don't know. If, if we all stop sending money, these scammers would stop. Yes, right. Yeah, right. And, and you're not probably really in a relationship if we haven't met That's at some right. point. Typically, right. exactly. at Typically some, a red flag. At right. some point. Right. It's true. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, there's, there's a lot of you know, weird, there's a lot disgusting of people out there. People it's true. <laughs> it is true. People are looking at your feet like that. <laughs> okay, just, Craig. It's disgusting. <laughs> Moving so, on. So, uh, Moving on. Okay. <laughs> Already then. How do we recover from that? I don't know. Sorry. You know what? We go to the weather. Yes. It's all we save over in the weather department. Always the weather. But I don't know, Craig. Well said. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.